because yeah. we yeah. have just want like to five to ten seconds at oh, the yeah. beginning of yeah. chapters at most. You don't want to take away from the reading. Right. Experience. It could even just be like say we, they did a we did Aaron Spring. It could be like one great photo and like one tiny little sound clip. Yeah. And just to give like that Sorry, multiple right. experience of what the chapter. Like, yeah, exactly. Just my my worry, like once we get into the creation side of it, is that it's a fine line between like looking pretty with all this nice stuff and then like. At a certain point, you just want to read what's on the page, right? Well, and, be yeah. sure. Oh no, I know, absolutely. So that's just something to keep in mind. What we can do, though, I think that would be good is have a multimedia page, maybe like indexed at the back of the iBook, where all audio and visual stuff from that whole iBook is in one spot. Two. So, like, if you like, if you came on, like, if you had read the whole Ravel iBook and like you wanted to show someone a couple of the video clips at some point that were on it, you could just jump to that page at the end. And yeah, I, I think exactly. That will, that's that's it. Exactly. I think that'll work especially well for podcasts because, like, I don't know what the average time for a Ravel podcast is, but those aren't as embeddable as like a short little video clip within the. Thing, well, and you right? don't have to search through the whole iBook just no. to find a link real quick. Right? Although you can't so. do that. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. I, I agree. There should be, if nothing else, like a glossary like videos, podcasts. Like, yeah. yeah, embed the media, but also make it available separately. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And keeping so, sorry. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, if you do any infographics.